and thank you to all of our new subscribers. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Creativity Castle. It's time again to be creative. Today, we are going to... Draw your dog. <laughs> we are going to sketch out a corgi dog. Today's photo comes from Emma. Emma sent in this picture of her corgi. <laughs> I will use her photo as a reference to sketch out today's dog. <laughs> I will first begin using a 4-H pencil to create a light sketching of the dog. And then, after creating this light sketch, I will then use a 4-B pencil to bring out the details of my drawing and add more depth and dimension to the drawing. It's very important to use this light sketch to make sure that you capture the essence of what you are drawing. In this case, I want to make sure that this corgi looks like Pippa. <laughs> In addition to the picture that I'm drawing, Emma also sent in several other pictures of her cute little dog, Pippa. Emma also shared some corgi facts with us. Corgi is Welsh for dwarf dog due to their stature. In Welsh, cor means dwarf and e means dog. According to Welsh legend, the Pembroke Welsh corgi sprang from the lairs of fairies and elves. <laughs> now, Using the 4B pencil, which will give us a much darker line, I begin to pull out the detail of Pippa. Using different degrees of pressure with the pencil, I can create different tones of gray to represent the different lightnesses and darknesses of Pippa's fur and her other unique features of her face. Corgis are a herding breed and were bred to herd cattle. Corgis have been a part of the British royal family for over 70 years. Queen Elizabeth II has owned more than 30 corgis. Oh boy, Woo that's a lot. Woo -hoo. As you can see, I'm continuing to add details and dimension to Pippa, our little happy corgi. <laughs> if you like this video, please remember to give us a thumbs up below. <laughs> As you can see, we have sped up the video of me drawing Pippa. The actual drawing took me about 60 minutes to sketch out. If you'd like a chance for me, Sourpuss, to draw your dog sometime, all you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and be a registered member at SourpussAndFriends.com. Register today for free. Once you've registered in the Share Your Creativity section, there you can upload your photo of your dog. Once I've selected a dog to draw, I will reach out to the person by email or give a shout out on this YouTube channel. And we are almost finished with our drawing of Pippa. And here we have our pencil sketch of Pippa. After finishing the sketch of Pippa, I took the drawing into Photoshop to add some additional depth and color. That looks really good, Sourpuss! Way to go! I sure hope you've enjoyed this 
Troll Your Dog with Sourpuss episode. See you next time, and remember to be creative! to all of our new subscribers. See you next time! Remember, you can always go to our website and register and get all the free downloads in the printable section. Register today! <laughs>